Tesserae starting then their new European campaign here this evening. Celebrating the end of the previous competition. That is life at the top end of European football. And indeed, the mood here is one of great anticipation and excitement. We are ready to go again. Of course, the Tifosi of Lazio have always been known for their extraordinary passion, something which is so very evident here today. Now, are we ready for another edition of this tournament? Well, when it comes to major European trophies, Peter, this is one of those eagerly awaited days on the footballing calendar. I think changes to the format have increased interest levels and the emphasis on, on victories is more pronounced now. And hopefully these two will go at it accordingly and we can enjoy this. Got things on the way. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? I would go for Sofian Fagouli. Um, when he injects a bit more aggression and or determination into his game, his performance level hits an impressive high. He becomes a, a more prolific supplier and, and a greater goal threat too. Okay, interesting. Patrick van Arnholt. Arda Turan. That's a good ball to find him. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Lazio have a free kick. delivery it deserved better well if only the caliber of the finish was as high as the the caliber of the supply I mean that was a beautifully played cross and really should have seen something better on the end of it Reina sends that a long way Tiagne, now it's for Gulli. Oh, good take in a good area. Tiagne! Too close for comfort. It's played forward. And it's Turan. That is terrific skill. And Tiagne! Goal! Galatasaray! 
It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. <laughs> So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And here's Immobile. Looks to thread it through. Can he deliver? Into a... Meets it first time! Pulls loose. Who's getting there? It's a good foot in there. A real chance to break. Out to the right. Aguni gets into some space. Chills one in. Diagne opts to play it back. And here's Faguli. Whipped in. Goes for goal! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Danger averted for now. The ball has crossed the line and it's a throw. Barbel. Lucas does well to read it and intercepts. Faguli. This could fall anywhere. Chance to break. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Immobile. He's had a goal! Back of the net! They are right back in business! Was there ever any doubt? Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. For me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Lucas. Now it's Immobile. He's got away. Patrick van Arnholt battles to win it back. Aguli looks to get on the end of this. Going through. Baguni plays it backwards. Diagne! Oh, that is very close. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. position to make that interception and we've reached half time what it has been an even contest as the scoreline suggests and it has been more than decent to watch it's a really interesting game and they hit it at half time one one
Galatasaray. Get the ball rolling for the second period. Galatasaray can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He's in out of harm's way. And it's Felipe Anderson. He's left his man. Luis Alberto. Yedlin. Arda Turan. He's brushed off the ball there. Luis Alberto. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Marcal Teixeira drives it towards the front, cuts it out. Acerbi, Dormisi, Felipe Anderson. Yedlin. Turan does have an assist to his name. Tiagne. Patrick van Arnholt. And here's Arda Turan. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Arda Turan really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Yedlin gets it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Van Arnholt. And he's cut it out. Lucas. Pedro. Pedro is the guilty party there. Oh, we're tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Forward it goes. He's got away. Now it's Pedro. Gets the better of his man. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Tiagne. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Turan spreads it towards the left. Aimed in towards the centre. <laughs> Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was... Shot a goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. By Ram, certainly displayed his fine technique, but the keeper was I never really in trouble. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. And Tiagne! You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Has a pop! Oh, that's a fine save! The keeper really dug out his... And time is up. 
They put a point, and of course were preferable, and up and running for a new campaign. Any reflection from what you've seen, Jim? I don't think they'll be too upset about that. One point is OK, and steering clear of an opening loss keeps the mood in the dressing room upbeat and confident that better results await.